We're about to let it all flop out right onto the table. <laughs> Welcome back to Relatable. Jillian is back in town. That's right, bitch. If you is fe- back in town. <laughs> if you felt a dark presence uh, come over L.A. Uh, on Sunday the 14th, then that was me <laughs> touching down at LAX. <laughs> I thought you were going to say the dark presence was you not being here, but no, it was no, you returning. me coming back. With yeah. your fucking Gucci belt, bitch. That's right. I can't hear you over the sound of my Gucci belt. What's it sound like? Money. It's just cha-ching. Every time I walk, I just hear like a sack full of coins <laughs> jingling. It's my big um, ball sack To clarify, Jillian is not wealthy enough to afford a Gucci belt. She stole it um, off. Okay, well, well, you, you didn't have to out me like that. That's not cool. Okay, I mean, well, she a- acquired it. Yeah. Legally. Through, through <laughs> legal and ethical means, I have acquired a Gucci belt. No, her mommy and daddy got it from her, uh-huh. for her from uh, Italy. Yeah, from the real Gucci store. Yes. Not as the opposed, fake Gucci store. As opposed to the Fuji store. <laughs> um, the Gucci store. No, we call it her... her your gooch belt or whatever yeah my gigantic gooch yeah that's, that's the two the, g's stand for which i didn't know what a gooch was until today unfortunately yeah, do yourselves a favor and look that one up the the definition not the picture well don't both if you're feeling a little saucy <laughs> no i i realized today also i i'm just out of the upper echelon of wealthy people like i have no concept of fashion brands because i didn't even know what the gucci label was well i knew i knew that they have like the the red and the green stripes because it's italiano yeah that's all right that's a me a gucci belt well mario and luigi actually have gucci belts mm, they're the the blueprint for gucci <laughs> they were they modeled for gucci in the uh 80s no one really knows that it's yeah fun exactly fact. uh no i i a co-worker of mine has a gucci belt and i was like wow she looks so like suave and and fucking badass and i'm like you know because my my parents were just in italy for their 30th wedding anniversary and my mom was like oh like do you need anything you know like we're you're like yes one gucci belt yes exactly one gucci belt please uh fresh off the presses (laughs) but i jokingly was like yeah gucci belt haha you know because i'm like why not right yeah and they're like oh i don't know about a gucci belt but like maybe we'll get you a a knockoff or whatever like whatever I'm yeah fuck who, like who can tell the difference anyway yeah um but then they told me that they got the real thing and they like gave me this like nice ass belt and it was a a thank you because i was uh pet sitting for them for two weeks so i i was uh in the bay area for two weeks which is insane because i feel like it flew by so quickly yeah it is weird we were talking about that earlier it's like i feel like i I touched down in uh you hopped off the plane at LAX <laughs> yeah with my dream and my cardigan yeah and no like I I got home you know and I, I was pretty much alone in my parents house for the whole time like my little brother came back from college for the weekend but I was alone but you the running cool a zoo thing was is you got to meet up with friends that you still have from high school which is adorable um and you also had like work you could go into because your office has a branch up there which is nice it was really nice to be home because my mom's dog is super sweet she pisses from Mm -hmm. excitement every time (laughs) she sees you yeah yeah you know it's not every time but well a lot a lot Uh, enough for it to be a problem yeah uh but she just has short-term memory loss and so every time you come back into the room she just evacuates her bladder yeah exactly pretty annoying never-ending piss scream (laughs) And uh, I saw some cool wildlife when I was there. Oh, she did. I did. She saw a single owl. I saw one owl. Yes. Um, a, a western screech owl. <laughs> and uh, then I took Dot out to potty. Oh, my God. She texted me when this happened. Oh, my God. It scared the shit out of me. There's like bushes that line my parents' property, like with our neighbors. I had turned on the porch light, which like isn't very strong. And I saw these two little glowing eyes. And I texted Jillian back. She's like, oh my God, I just saw a pair of eyes. And I was like, oh, huh, sorry, that was me. 
<laughs> You're glowing reflective I wanted eyes. to surprise you. <laughs> um, no, it, it scared the shit out of me because it took a second for it to register. And what the fuck was it? I don't know. I oh don't know. God. I didn't even see what it was because I thought maybe it was like. You just a- hear like. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, God. Um, and then I shined my flashlight kind of over in the direction, like my phone flashlight. And it kind of moved. And no. I was like, I literally out loud was like, oh, hell no. <laughs> and I kind of like looked down to like see where my dog was at. And I looked back up and it was gone. Oh, <laughs> so my God. I don't know where it went. And I don't know what it was. It was probably a raccoon. Dude, when I was in college and I was walking back to my apartment from campus one night with my friend, we saw a fucking a possum a fucking opossum yeah wow what was it fucking another opossum obviously wow did you join in well they were they were it was riding a bareback across the street <laughs> and um no I, <laughs> they're just fucking the whole way across <laughs> <laughs> yeah it uh was fucking its way across the street and i screamed so loud because it just skulked its way out of these bushes and like Y'all, they are not cute when you see them in the wild. I know there's a bunch of cute videos. There's like this one guy whose only YouTube video we ever uploaded was a bunch of opossums eating bananas. Oh my God. Yeah. And it's really cute. Yeah. Just, just 10 opossums. No, but Jillian, um, had a great time. She got bangs, everyone. I did. She got fucking bang. I'm entering my bang era. She she walked my car from the airport looking like a fucking, like she came out of the 70s. She had a Sherpa jacket on with her Gucci ass belt. And I was like, oh my God. Yeah. I felt like a uh, Farrah Fawcett with straight hair because I straightened my hair. Instead of gay hair? Well, Did yeah. Did Farrah Fawcett have queer hair? Is that what you're saying? Yes. No, you look, it looks really great. And then we immediately went to Monty's Good Burger and tried their vegan chicken sandwich and got, of course, animal fries. And now I feel like if mayo was a person, um, (laughs) but it was so good. It was really good. Shout out to Monty's. And they have incredible merch that we were like eyeing. But I've spent so much money recently trying to get ready for my London trip. Like, I never want to shop again. I have a sad update for my Germany trip. Oh, no. Yeah. Get your tissues ready. I know. Not not those tissues. No, no. Stop. Stop. Hey, yeah, hold on. No, no, no. I didn't say lotion and tissues. I said crying tissues. Jesus. Yeah. All right. Freaks. Anyway, you know, cue up the world's smallest violin, sad music. What's that one meme? He's like, Duh, yeah, the SpongeBob. That's SpongeBob? No, no, no. You put it at the end of our last oh, Let's Play. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, that, that's true. Yeah, the sad, the sad, sad violin piano music. and violin. No, I I don't think I'm going to be going when I thought I was going to. This which, is so heartbreaking to me. You know. I was so excited for you. And you announced it on the podcast before I even fucking knew. So we all found out together. I know. I'm, I'm setting up a GoFundMe for um, emotional reparations. So if you want to give me money <laughs> to make me feel better. <laughs> but for no, fucking it's, Germany having a COVID problem. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Fuck you guys. No, I'm just kidding. Um, Shout out to my my relatives in uh, Deutschland. I'm sorry that it's so bad right now. It sucks. Yeah. There, there is a silver lining in this though, which is we're probably going to go in the summertime instead, which will be nicer for my <laughs> whole entire body because yeah. I don't handle the cold very well. Um, and I won't you have to were... drop a bunch of money on winter coats and boots. she was stocking up on, um, acorns like a chipmunk <laughs> just in my in my gooch yeah <laughs> your gooch. <laughs> that's what it's for you store acorns for the winter yeah I I you love know, traveling and I love you know with the excitement around like oh I'll get a fun coat but it yeah. at some point becomes like so anxiety inducing because you're like well what if I what if I don't get the right coat and what if I freeze my ass off and right. I'm fucking sad and <laughs> wet I like, know Another another silver lining is that I had always pictured that the first time I would meet my uh, German relatives, I would be wearing a really cute like Reformation dress, Gucci like belt. oh my yeah. with my Gucci belt. Yeah. Um, and I was like, well, if we go in the winter, I can't really wear a dress, but now I can wear a dress, and I'm gonna look so fucking cute. Yeah, with your new haircut. That's right. Well, it won't be new in the summer, but your new old haircut. Yeah, <laughs> may- maybe I'll uh, touch up the the bangs. Well, you're gonna wanna trim it because with bangs you gotta. I mean, you got bangs or you don't have to. Yeah, keep short. I got curtain bangs, and yeah. so when they grow out, they're gonna frame my face, which is nice. But 
I like this length. I haven't had bangs since I was like in fifth or sixth grade and yeah. they were ugly bangs. They were like a side <laughs> swoop and it just didn't look fucking good at all. Yeah. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's moving to LA or just becoming a, a grown woman. Like mm-hmm. I learned how to cut my hair in a way that is best for my face shape. Like I learned how to dress <laughs> decently. Like you guys don't understand. I in high school was just a sad lump of a person <laughs> think of like a blob fish <laughs> <laughs> and that's not a comment on like you know oh I was out of shape or I was like unhealthy like I was fine objectively I just we weren't exactly ever fashion savvy I think my glow up definitely happened when I moved here because I came here originally for college at USC and I I had to wear a uniform throughout high school so like I did not have a fucking choice yeah on uh, what looked good or not it's just it's I don't not know. the best place for for fashion and self-expression the way I expressed myself was through my socks oh yeah and you still do I do you, sometimes she just wears socks yep and she causes quite a scene but well it works for me. Yeah. I mean, people are just going to have to fucking deal with it. Sorry. I mean, she said to me today as she was walking out of the airport, she's like, God, I, I just got so many looks today. I'm like, was it because you were only wearing socks? And, and she's a Gucci like, belt? yeah. <laughs> Why? Do you think that's not appropriate? Or I was like, no, but it does explain the stairs. Yeah, no, but I think it was because of the Gucci belt. I'm not trying to like victim blame or whatever. But. Well, I understand that my socks looked really cool, but yeah, I yeah, when she's just wearing socks and nothing else, she doesn't get a lot of stares. Maybe it was the Gucci belt. I think with it was. The socks. They were like, "Wow, she's fashionable. She and looks cool." Mm-hmm. You're just jungle level fucking vagina hairs. Yeah, <laughs> vagina hairs <laughs> down to my down to my feet. Your your jungle of a fucking bush. No, I don't. I'm not up to date with what's going on down there. And I, I don't ever need to be. But I was just going to say, does the curtain match the drapes? I don't know if the curtain. Yeah, I, g- I gave my bush bangs. <laughs> <laughs> and, a, and a balayage. Yeah, I was just going to say, did, did she dye your pubes? Yeah, because yeah. I don't. Okay, y'all email us. If you're blonde out there, like naturally blonde, do you have blonde pubes? I don't know because I have blonde... comment below if you have white pubes. Yeah, please let us know. We're very curious. Actually, send pictures. As please. dirty blondes, the base of our hair is like a dirty blonde. Yeah. It's not brown, but it's not well, blonde. We also have blonde body hair. Yes, we were blessed <laughs> with not having to shave the tops of our fucking legs. You know, it's Marco is blonde and his beard hair gets like flecks of like orange in it like oh, orange and yeah. brown it's weird like yeah. he's got like a little ginger in him i think i do too i you know on the a weekends I, I got a little ginger in me mm-hmm. um my boyfriend's a leprechaun yeah you have a little <laughs> ginger in you i'm actually a uh, top of the modern into you <laughs> I'm, I'm a, just gonna climb in your cooter and <laughs> you're like a mech being controlled by a, a little leprechaun pilot he climbs inside and just has his <laughs> way with my brain and he's organs. like it's like ratatouille Ew. except he's like controlling your body with your pubes Ew. <laughs> yeah i have a i have i have cooter mice <laughs> <laughs> them cooter mice are getting bad again <laughs> i gotta start laying traps down there because shit's getting out of hand what were we just talking about though cooter mice i don't know cooter mice no pubes i'm very much in love with your new hair it's very cute thank you me too but um it's so funny because when i have my hair normal every day if i do it it'll have like bangs and short but every time i go to uh the gym i'll like put my bangs back and i'll tie my hair up and so the one time I went with my hair down, people were like shocked. <laughs> they thought I was like a different person. Like, you have hair? Oh my God. I know. And then there's this girl that goes to the gym I go to. She's like 13. I've come across brutally honest kids in the past. Like my dad had one kid up, come up to him and be like, your teeth are yellow. <laughs> You're like, thank you for my that. Dad's like, yeah, I had them replaced with kernels of corn. Thank you. Um, so we were posing for a picture for the Instagram or whatever of like the class. And I was joking about how like, oh, don't you guys know how to sorority squat? Like, oh, I was in a sorority in college. And the girl's like, yeah, I could see that. And then after we took the picture, she's like, you look like that one girl from like 
you know that movie where they're like in college and she dies every day and I was like happy death day oh my and God. she's like yeah you look like her I was like oh thank you I'll, I'll take that as a compliment and then she's like well, you don't look exactly like her. <laughs> She's like, don't want to get to your head, bitch. I was like, thank you. I'm very fucking aware. <sighs> she did not give a fuck. I kind no. of admire it, honestly. I think, obviously, as you get older, you kind of learn to shut your fucking mouth sometimes. Bro. Um, or or not. not. I don't know. Dude, I went to Verve today in Manhattan Beach. Shout out. I have to pee so bad. That's too bad. Piss in my face. Um, Go piss. I'll tell the story. Oh, you're going to tell it while I yeah, pee? Yeah, I want to hear the oh. sounds of you tinkling in the background. Okay. 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 We'll have anyway, fun. Jillian's going to go wee-wee. And um, <laughs> I really hope it shows up. It's just explosive diarrhea. So, <laughs> so I was at Verve today, and there was a guy working in the register, whatever. He took my order, and then he calls my name. He's like, Lauren or Miss Lauren or Mrs. Mrs. Lauren. And then I get up. I was like, oh, ha-ha, like... No, it's just Miss. Like, it's definitely just Miss. And he's like, oh, I, I wouldn't have guessed that. And I was like, what is the point of that response? Like, are you saying I'm so, like, I look so good. There's no way I'm not fucking tied down. Or I look so fucking old that you would assume I'm married. Like, help me understand does being attractive mean you immediately get swept up and married? I don't fucking understand. It was just like sometimes well, if you're if you're I, working at a fucking coffee shop, don't don't be weird. Just say my name. <laughs> you know when I when I worked at that chocolate shop that I used to work at, uh, I had a woman correct me. I called her ma'am, and she was like, "It's Miss." <gasps> I mean, my boss at the time was like, "Well, I think it's because like ma'am is like you're dude." I get ma'am. I get ma'amed all the fucking time. I'm 26, y'all. Going back to just brutally honest kids, what I love is is when kids try to guess your age and they're like, um, 64? You're like fucking 14. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Speaking of 14-year-olds, also in Manhattan Beach today, I was telling Jill, there are these two like young girls who were walking down the street in this like, you know, bougie area wearing ugg slippers like slides with like a elastic strap on the back that were furry and like neon colored the one girl had a fucking pink prada bag and i was like how where am i <laughs> yeah at manhattan beach is a whole different uh circus. i don't know man uh i remember when i was a kid like my luxury item was like this really nice brand of stuffed animal that my mom got me <laughs> fucking course it was i know the stuffed animal queen i know and and you know i i hoarded stuffed animals as a kid like for real but yeah. it was so nice that she didn't even really want me like playing with it because <gasps> it was just so like expensive and whatever looking back it was just like a pug it was yeah Aww. it was cute it could stand up you know but i'm, I'm gonna look up the oh, brand shit, and see if i can it could find it stand up yeah bug. Oh my god, this fucking brand is so expensive. What is it? I'm, I'm gonna see if they still have the pug. Holy shit. Oh, they totally do. And it's selling on eBay How for much? like $135. Oh my fucking god. How big is it? It better be a life size pug. Like, it better come to life. It was more or less life sized. Well, pugs aren't that big, so I guess it's not really yeah. that impressive. I mean, but... it was really cute. It's just, this is exactly what it looked like. Ew. Its face is all like squished and undefined. Well, that's what most pugs look <laughs> like. So, <laughs> yeah, it was like this. Like, okay, it's cute, but not worth a hundred and thirty dollars. Fuck no. I do remember it being really, really soft. But maybe that's like maybe it's not stuffed animals that they sell, but they sell sex dolls for dogs, mm -hmm. and that's why they're so expensive. Oh my god, it's dog trafficking. No, they're not real. Sex dolls aren't human trafficking. What? Yeah. You know they don't they're not alive, Jillian. Then why does mine talk to me? <laughs> Jillian, that's your husband. Oh. Just because you treat him like a sex doll doesn't mean he is one. Shit. All right. You just yeah. throw him on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like <laughs> Keep mount. <him> <laughs> You keep him stored in the fucking closet. <laughs> you, st you still haven't taken his tag off. <laughs> from, <laughs> fresh from the German factory. Oh, my God. No, maybe you keep him in the fridge. Otherwise, he'll start to smell. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> like sauerkraut? Yeah, like sauerkraut. The Germans and pretzels. smell like sauerkraut when they sweat because I think I might have some of those genes. Second. I smell like garlic and onion when I sweat. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Sucking my man's dick after he hits the gym. Call that sauerkraut. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Jillian has this. <laughs> that only applies to me. Well, unless you have a German husband or boyfriend, but. Oh my God. Jillian has this habit, you guys, of like coming up with like slightly smart rap lyrics <laughs> and then fucking building them up so much <laughs> that she can't get them out. And like they're okay at best. <laughs> That's not nice. They are good. I'm sorry. They need work. Sweaty. You, you, what the fuck? Tell the people your clam chowder one. See what they think. Pussy's so creamy. I eat it with a spoon. Call that clam chowder. <laughs> I have so many. I keep, I keep Shut sending them. Shut the fuck them, up. I keep sending them to my friends because. Because they fucking asked for this. Yes. You sent me one the other day. <laughs> there's okay there's two that the oh i God. will okay these were inspirations i was inspired for these ones from tiktok so these ones these these next two aren't 100 percent original but they're still pretty fucking funny cancel tiktok it's making white women think they can rap <laughs> <laughs> my girl got crabs i eat that roast beef anyway call that the surf and turf oh, special <laughs> so wordy like you're reciting like slam poetry <laughs> <laughs> like i should be snapping in the background like that's right that's oh right my fucking god this next one is my girl lets me motorboat her and i say thanks for the memories <laughs> y'all comment below if you think jillian should uh kill myself for- yes well first sign up for slam poetry realize <laughs> how bad you are and then kill <laughs> I get up on the stage and I say the clam chowder thing and I just get a like a fucking ton of tomatoes like dumped onto my head. They hand you a gun. <laughs> <laughs> like we're not going to we're not going to do this to you. Yeah. We, listen, we don't want you to waste time having to go get one yourself. Here's one yeah. for you. You know what? We did you a favor and, and us all. Um, That's so fucking funny, though. Speaking of just TikTok, recently I made the discovery against my will that there are character tiktoks for like whatever care they d- a character they decide to do like there's a a johnny depp willy wonka one uh-huh and it's this like this lovely gay gentleman who i don't even know what he does he'll just like dance around to a song like he isn't ever not being willy wonka like he sleeps in the fucking costume where does he end and willy wonka begin that's what i'm fucking saying dude also um was reminded of the fact that timothy chalamet is going to be playing willy wonka in some kind of origin story thing and almost shitted my pants or like twink wonka (laughs) twinkie wonka (laughs) um yes twinkie wonka (laughs) i would i kind of wish he had a boyfriend i'm not gonna lie Maybe he just fucked all the Oompa Loompas. Oh, God. <laughs> no, it was consensual. Don't be weird. I know that it's like it's like a weird dynamic because he's technically their boss, but there's no way he's not filling them with cream like Oompa <laughs> Loompa doopa dee doo. I'm going to fuck the shit out of you. <laughs> wow, you did it. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm going to suck the cream out of you. <laughs> I mean, y'all, he's 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 a human being. He's got he's got needs, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, the the Loompas have a delicious cream filling and <laughs> Willy Wonka's just trying to get into it. Is there an eclair room you think where he's just loading his Oh god. <laughs> Dude, I'll never unloading. forget. There's an episode of a uh, American Dad where they go to like the Willy Wonka equivalent of like a weed factory, and Snoop Dogg is like the Willy Wonka character of or whatever. Course. And the people who like misbehave get turned into <laughs> fucking like the Oompa Loompas, and oh my god, and the dad gets like halfway turned into one because the machine breaks halfway through, so he's like, <laughs> like 
his upper body is like this teeny little person with like massive legs. Oh my god. I know some people who are actually built like that. So I'm looking at one right now. <laughs> Dude, the librarian at my high school had a chicken body. <laughs> like a really Wait, big, explain, please. A really big torso and really small legs that were really skinny. It's like the apple body or whatever. You have a fucking pear body. Apple body jeans. I look like a triangle. It's fine. You know, beauty standards change. Maybe in 10 years, chicken bodies will be the new <laughs> Kim Everyone's Kardashian. getting reverse BBLs. BBLs. Oh, God. Well, BBLs kind of can make you look like a chicken body. Yeah, that's true. Just like lumps of your own fat. I don't. Is it? I don't don't know how that works. I think it's silicone. Oh, God. Ew. My. (laughs) No. My girl gets. No. (laughs) Silicone in her pussy. (gasps) Call that the Silicon Valley. Stop. No one gets silicone pussy. Who gets silicone? I don't know. Anyone out there getting silicone pussy lip (laughs) injections? They want a fat pussy. No one. Stop. Stop trying to make this happen. Stop trying to make silicone pussies a thing. (laughs) Speaking of Willy Wonka um, and candy and shit. So... I recently discovered the incredibly disgusting world of uh, candy eating ASMR videos. Yeah, like candy mukbangs. I know I'm like 20 years late, y'all. But if you haven't had the time to just go slack jawed over these fucking videos, take take like 20 minutes out of your day. Yeah. Just because and you'll want to vicariously throw up. Look, the 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 junk food is like whatever. That's also like not great. But like there are people dedicated to just eating insane amounts of candy and dessert and sweets and it just and and not just like oh like normally i eat seafood but i'm gonna spice it up today with some chocolate cake it's like no it's like this is like their specific content and they only make videos of them eating candy two things about this right obviously there's got to be so asmr in general there's got to be some kind of sexual element to it there's no way it just came to be without some people getting some sort of satisfaction from it sexually. I'm not saying everyone, but that's got to be part of it, right? Like it's rule whatever, 64, that there's like porn of everything or whatever. I get it. People have their things. Some people want to fuck me. Weird. I don't understand it either. (laughs) (laughs) But um, so that's there's that. But then also, obviously, these people are making fucking bank making Mm -hmm. these videos. So at some point, they're going to completely disregard their health or the color well, of their shit yeah. for views and money. Okay. So, but it's not just candy. So I'm looking at, there's this like Korean woman on Instagram that I found and that got me down this rabbit hole. And she's just eating like massive jello like cups with like boba, like congealed into it and slurping it and chewing it down. Like... Like handfuls and handfuls and handfuls of this jello-y shit. And then on top of that, eating like the the sugar-coated fruits and just like handfuls of cake. Like they cut a slice of cake and they put it in their hand and they just eat it out of their hand. Mm -hmm. I I don't understand physically how someone could process that without throwing up. I know. Uh, It's just so much sugar. Like mukbangs have gone from just let's share a meal. And I think it just escalated to massive amounts of food or dipping an entire fucking lobster crab leg into five pounds of cheese. A gallon of cheese or butter, you know? Yeah. And I think it's like for shock factor, Mm -hmm. it's like they have to go for the fucking extremes. And the next thing you know. Yeah, the wow factor. Next thing you know, you're slurping down 10 gallons of jello. Anyway, well, I'm very happy Jillian's back. Um, that That tune will change very quickly as I progressively grow more and more sick of her shit. That's right. We're going to do a little Thanksgiving thing. Yeah. We might do some Christmassy Let's Plays. One may or may not be about tax evasion. So, <laughs> yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> to watch us commit tax fraud. <laughs> That's right. Well, more than we usually do. Yeah, exactly. Well, fuck. 
IRS. We're just joking for legal purposes. <laughs> it's just a prank. Um, until then, you can follow us on Instagram at Relatable Pod Show. Email us any questions, comments, whatever. A picture of your dog. Picture at- of your white pubes, if you have any. <laughs> <laughs> your straight white pubes. At um, Relatable Podcast Show at gmail.com. Please do not include the genitals. At gmail.com. Just <laughs> gmail.com. <laughs> And um, you can check out our website at reliablepodcastshow.com. And if you're feeling tipsy, you can head over to our Patreon. All this is linked in our um, description. But we want to start doing more like video stuff eventually and maybe doing like video of the podcast. So anything you guys can do to help um, would be incredibly just wonderful. And um, we love you guys. Thank you so much for listening. And uh, we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Thank you.